So a couple months ago, I found myself having an interest in Canada Goose jackets and um, over time it really grew on me. So I decided that I finally got one and it came in the mail yesterday. So I will be doing an unboxing and showing you everything that comes in the box when you order online and everything you should think about if you're thinking about getting a Canada Goose jacket. So for me, um, a couple months ago was when I started like taking an interest in it just because I heard my friends talking about it all the time and I was never really into it. And then I um, started looking into it more and it really started to grow on me. Um, but going into it, um, I had a couple friends that did have some and so I asked to try theirs on. Um, there's a huge difference between like the regular fit and the fusion fit, first of all. I went with the regular fit because when I tried on my friend's fusion fit, um, it was too short for me. Like I really want like the, not like to my ankles long, but to my knees long. So I was really looking for that. And so when I tried on her fusion fit, she was a size large and it fit really, really snug. Like I wouldn't be able to wear like a hoodie or a sweater underneath it. And that was something that I really wanted to be able to do going into it. So I knew I did not want the fusion fit of anything because I know that they have a fusion fit and a regular fit. Also, my best friend lives in Chicago and I went to visit her and I know that they have a Canada Goose boutique in Chicago. So we made a trip there so I could try on some of uh, the styles I was looking at. I was, there was about four styles I was looking at getting. And um, the one I ended up trying on and liking the most was the Shelburne Parka. And I figured out that I am a size large in the Shelburne Parka. So, um, Prior to buying this, I did a lot of research online of um, which platform I should get it from because I did think about Poshmark, I did think about eBay, I thought about um, Tradesy, I thought about doing the Real Real, and um, I thought about doing Nordstrom online as well because um, I saw that the price online on the online website for Canada Goose, like their prices fluctuate a lot. Like at one point it was nine ninety five, and then a few like weeks later it was um, uh, over a thousand dollars, and so like. To me, like having, you know, an extra hundred dollars in my pocket, I'd rather have that. So um, I thought about doing Nordstrom or doing um, Poshmark. The thing is, make sure you do your research on the platform you're thinking about buying from because you might, if you plan on buying it from a different platform besides the Canada Goose website or in the store directly, you may potentially end up in a bad situation. Um, so for example, I looked at, I thought about getting one through Nordstrom and so I looked at the reviews on, um, I looked at the reviews on the Nordstrom customer service, like website ordering, whatever. And you would think that Nordstrom is a pretty reputable company. And uh, I think they are. But after reading the reviews online, there were a lot of people that had a lot of trouble with the customer service. Um, some people would buy something and they got shipped the wrong thing, which I thought was absolutely insane. Um, so... I decided considering I'm spending about a thousand dollars worth of my money, I'm not going to risk that. So uh, Nordstrom was a big no. <laughs> and um, so with Poshmark and eBay, same thing. I mean, I don't think, I mean, if someone, you know, if someone doesn't give you your correct item, you know, you can get your money back through Poshmark. You can maybe, I don't know too much about eBay, but um you're getting something used, uh, you don't really know the condition it's in, like besides, you know, really good pictures, you'll know, but you really don't know what you're paying for. So I consider, you know, I figured out, I'll just order through the website that's safe, like it'll come with the box, it'll come with a garment bag. And I figured if I'm spending that money, I should get all those things with it. So um, I will show you how the package came. Um, it came in a big box, a big brown box. And then this is the box that came inside it it's um really smooth it's super luxurious it feels so nice and inside the box comes a uh, pamphlet with all of your receipts and it also comes with a garment bag and then it comes with a hanger which i have on my jacket right here but i'll show you the hanger comes with this hanger right here. Also, um, if you're considering buying this, uh, I know it's a thousand dollars is a lot to spend on any type, a purse, a scarf, a jacket, 
a pair of shoes. It's a lot of money to spend. I personally would never spend that kind of money on a purse. I would never spend that kind of money on maybe I'd, maybe I'd spend it on one pair of shoes in my life, but that's it. But I'd never spend it on a purse because all the Louis that I have, like the ones that I, you know, that in the store cost a thousand dollars. I don't even touch some of them. So I would never spend that kind of money on a purse. But I think if you're living in a cold place, New York, Chicago, Canada, like if you're living in any cold place year round, I think this is worth the investment because you're going to have this jacket for life. I mean, there's a lifetime warranty on it. Like if you break a button, if something comes off, like Canada Goose will either fix it or they could replace the jacket as well. Um, I think it's worth the investment because I'd rather have one nice, like if I, like you have, most people have one winter jacket, you know, um, I don't want to say one car, but like I'd rather have a night, one nice winter jacket. I'd rather have one nice car. I'd rather have one really nice pair of sunglasses, you know, one super nice pair of shoes than have five jackets I know I won't wear or five purses I know I'll never touch because I don't like them. So that's just me. Um, I'll try on the jacket and show you guys. Um, it's super, I think it's really worth the money. If you live in a cold environment, especially, um, it's definitely worth the investment. But um, anyway, so I got the Shelburne parka in a size large and the lighting kind of makes it look like gray, almost like maybe even like a purple or like a light, like, I don't know, maybe like even brown. I don't know how the lighting's gonna show, but it's navy blue. Um, I decided to get the navy blue because I feel like you see black jackets everywhere and I know navy blue is still really common, but um, I really did not want to take a leap of faith and get like a, a bright red or like the gray camo as much as, oh, I love the gray camo. I fell in love with the gray camo when I saw it in the store. I wanted it so bad, but I just knew that if I got the gray camo, um, I would only be able to wear it with a limited amount of things, you know? Um, so I think dark blue, black, like those basic colors, those really go with everything. And so that's why I went with this. So anyway, this is the Shelburne Parka Fusion, or not the Fusion Fit, the regular fit. The tag is still on in the inside right here. I haven't taken it off yet, just in case. I mean, I'm not gonna send it back, but just in case, I'm gonna take it off at the very last minute. All right, so I will try it on. Now, I am 5'4", 130-ish pounds, and this is a size large. And I am telling you, this thing fits like a glove. Like, have you, if you've seen Back to the Future where he steps in his shoes and puts his jacket on and just, and it just sucks it in and he's like the right size. That's what this feels like. It feels like it fits like a glove. It's super comfy. Um, you can't see, uh, it goes, oh, well you can't really see it, but it goes right above my knees, like right above my kneecaps. So it's the perfect length. There's little flaps, uh, button flaps on the uh, bottom here. So I guess if you get hot, you can unbutton it and uh, get some air flowing through your jacket if it's too hot. Um, I'll zip it up for you and show you that. The zipper is huge. So if you're wearing mittens, it's gonna be super easy to grab. You know, you could grab it with your mittens on. You wouldn't have to take your mittens off to grab it. And then there's buttons. I'm not gonna do it just for convenient pur purposes, but um, button, you can button it over the, ja uh, the zipper. And then this is the fur hood. I have my, have my hair up in a ponytail, so. <laughs> It's a little weird, but um, this is what it looks like on. I could probably, um, I could fit into a medium, but this, I really just wanted to be able to not have to only wear like a, a compression shirt underneath it. I really wanted to be able to wear like a, a sweater or something a little bit thicker underneath because I don't want to be limited to wearing only compression shirts underneath a size medium. So I went with the large for that reason. So yeah, if you're planning on getting a Canada Goose, um, they do run kind of small. They, <laughs> they run very small. So um, what you normally, what size you normally are, I would get the next size up for that reason, because that's what I did. 